In Photoshop, you can use custom shapes via the custom shape tool, but you can also use them in the filter menu. Go to the filter menu and select the blur and then shape blur. Come up with the dialogue. Now the ones here are from graphicextras.com, they're X designs, but you can use any of the ones that come here, of course, or you can create your own. Now the shape blur, I'm just going to reduce the radius a bit so it makes it a bit uh, quicker. So I'm just going to actually see it refresh. So you click the various designs, it will actually apply a different blur base on that shape. Just see subtle changes, but you can create subtle, very unusual blurs very easily. I mean, it's uh, so I'm just going to select another design, just quickly show you that. Different shapes will create different blurs, and of course, there's a, like I say, a vast selection of different custom shapes to use. Click OK at that point. You can also, of course, use custom shapes with. Photoshop Elements, you've got that with the cookie cutter tool. But other than that, that's really about it for custom shapes. Now, of course, custom shapes you can use in a variety of ways, so you can actually use them in filters, but you have to use them via a selection, so use them as a sort of mask for the effect. But uh, in terms of input of, of uh, custom shapes, you can't really use them anymore in any of the filters.